If you're going on Erasmus to Poznań, I am Karolina from Erasmus Play and in this video I will give you the basic guide for students in Poznań. As you already know, or maybe not, but you can guess, I'm Polish and who will tell you better how to live to the best in Poland than a Polish person? Guess what? It's gonna be me. The first point on our list, as always, will be the accommodation. The most economical option for living in Poznań for students is to live in public residence, also known in Polish as akademik. For example, the Poznań University of Technology has several residences spread around all campuses. However, they can be quite small and usually you have to share your room with another colleague. And the common areas such as bathroom, kitchen, you have to share it with other students from the same floor. But it's true, it's the cheapest option. A lot of students prefer to live in shared apartments where they can have more space as some residences are a bit more demanding with schedules and rules. Attention, apply for a spot in public residence as soon as you can. As soon as you find out you're going to Poznań, apply for a spot in public residence because they don't have that many rooms. As for the best areas to live in Poznań, logically, it will be best to live near your university. This way you will save time and money on transportation. Many students choose to live in Stare Miasto, the old town basically, because you can feel the student atmosphere and it is pretty close to the university. And it is also where most nightclubs are. However, there are also some other areas that you can consider. For example, if you're going to study at Poznań University of Life Science or Poznań University of Economics, Jerzyce, the neighborhood, is a very good choice for you. Of course, gastronomy is another point that cannot be missed in our guides. In this city, you will enjoy Polish cuisine, which is characterized by strong dishes and strong flavors, and of course, delicious. Some of the typical dishes that we recommend you to try are pierogi. They are small portions of pasta filled with cheese, meat or vegetables, potatoes or mushrooms, it depends on the filling, but there are also sweet pierogies with jam and fruits. In Poznań there is also a special type of pierogi which reminds Spanish empanada because these pierogies are baked in the oven, not boiled. I recommend you to visit Pierogarnia, a restaurant that serves pierogies sweet, salty, with spinach, baked, whatever you want, baby. Rurek soup. This is a soup that is prepared with rye flour, potato, hard-boiled eggs, sausages, and it's often served in a bread. Yes, you heard me right, in a bread. Go on, please. These are cabbage rolls stuffed with pork or beef, and they are cooked in a very big pot with tomato sauce. Croquette, kind of crepe stuffed with different fillings. Cheese with spinach or with meat or vegetables or even chocolate and then fried. But if you want to try regular crepes, you should go to Mannequin restaurant where you can taste all kind of crepes and even more. Is it a paid collaboration? Because I'm recommending some, some very good places here and mommy needs money to spend it on Stupid things that she would never use in her life. I need money, please pay me. Bigos. It is a stew with sauerkraut and various types of meat. Among others, famous Polish sausage, kielbasa, even better than the German one. Hey. <laughs> of course it is! No, that down, no, that down, it's better, it's better. <laughs> You can also add some vegetables or spices. Kotlet schabowy. This is the Polish version of German schnitzel. This is a pork chop usually served with potatoes and raw vegetables salad. These are just some of the dishes that you need to try during your Erasmus in Poznań. We also recommend you to go to the milk bars with traditional Polish cuisine at very good prices. If you see that it says promocja, it means discount or special offer. As for the entertainment and partying in Poznań, let's get straight to the point. Grab your pen and a piece of paper because that will be useful. Some of the most popular places among the students are if you like reggaeton and Latin music, Club Havana and Cuba Libre 
are for you. There is another club called Pacha, and if you like techno, you will love Project Lab. Let's continue with the cost of living. They say Poland is very affordable, but as a Polish person who spent most of my life there, ah, it depends. I could say that definitely in last five years it got more expensive comparing to what it used to be, but I suppose that's not only a thing for Poland and happen everywhere. Accommodation and food and grocery will be definitely cheaper than in other European countries. As you may know, Poland is a part of European Union, but still it has its own currency. It's called złoty. Literally, it means gold, so that makes sense. One euro corresponds to four, five złoty, depending on the exchange rate. What some students do is to get a card, like commission-free cards, to withdraw cash and to pay in another currency, without any commission, of course. As you know, the average cost of living in Poznań will depend on the type of accommodation that you choose. Your typical grocery basket, transportation and leisure. To give you an idea how much it can be, um, the average cost of living can be around 500 euros more or less but of course if you want to live alone in your own apartment or you like to go out a lot of course that amount will go higher and another important aspect of this guide will be places that you cannot miss during your Erasmus in Poznań. Poznań is considered one of the oldest cities in Poland it's not that small but comparing to other European big cities it might seem so, but it has a lot of interesting monuments and places to visit. Some of them are Taririnek Square is the main square of Poznań. There you can find the old town hall and colorful houses, which today are restaurants or bars or stores. It is especially known for its city hall with goats. Yes, you heard it, goats. The Basilica of St. Stanislaus, one of the largest Baroque churches in Poland. The Royal Castle of Poznań, built in the 18th century, and from there you will have an amazing view of the city. The Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul, the first Polish cathedral. The Citadel Park, it's the largest park in Poznań, and inside you can find the Museum of Weapons and the Museum of Poznań Army. And of course, another thing that you will do during your Erasmus is to travel. From Poznań you can easily travel to other Polish cities by bus or train, but if you'd like to see other European capitals, you can also do it by plane, because in Poznań there is also an airport where several low-cost airlines operate. Some of the trips we recommend you to do are Wrocław. It is considered one of the most beautiful cities in Poland, and it's known for its elf spread all around the city. You can even buy a map and go looking for them, just, you know, just putting a cross on the ones that you've already seen. Gdańsk. Located on the shores of Baltic Sea, is one of the most beautiful city in Poland. I know I also said the same thing about Wrocław, but they're all beautiful, like visit the whole country. Gdańsk is characterized by its cobbled streets of the historic center, Warsaw, the capital. It is a city full of history where you should definitely visit the old town, declared a World Heritage Site in 1980. Berlin. It's only two and a half hours by train. It's a city full of history and art and kebabs. There you can visit one of its most famous monuments, such as the Brandenburg Gate, the Berlin Wall or the Reichstag building. And finally, if you have got so far, we are going to give you some little tips that you cannot miss. Don't forget to get your European health insurance card. Become a member of Student Association in Poznań. Remember to get a card without commission to be able to withdraw cash. And finally, the supermarkets that you will find most frequently are Biedronka and Żabka. You can find it everywhere. But you also have Aldi, Carrefour, Lidl. Well, that would be all. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be notified 
whenever we upload a new video. Okay, see you very soon with new videos. Bye-bye! <laughs> Assistant!